Hi, I'm Tim Forrest, timforrest.com. My clients grow by thousands of retail locations, millions of dollars in sales, and promotions that effectively double their business. And I've been doing this with some of the largest food brands in the world for the past 25 years. Today we're going to talk about three things. I want to talk about the Wave selling system that I developed. It's a real simple outline of the sales process that's helped my clients grow by millions of dollars in sales. Um, also, we're going to talk about uh, specifically your story and uh, how to deploy that uh, effectively through your marketing efforts. And again, we're going to talk about, uh, share with you a little bit about Tim's Roundtable. You can download the Wave sell, uh, selling system on my site, and I even have built a pre-formatted template uh, for Excel spreadsheets. It's a very simple process. And with so many projects going on, I'm working with so many different uh, companies, I had to put together um, a simple process so that I could move, this, move the programs along for my different clients. And I'm sharing this with you uh, on my site there at timforest.com. It's real simple. The, the, the Wave selling system uh, divides the selling process into basically five specific steps of contact, interview, present, negotiate, and buy. And that's a very simple process. Today we want to talk, I want to take it a little bit further and go into some of the details of that um, and really to get into really some of the timing uh, who, you, who and how you're contacting the appropriate person at the retailer and then the paperwork involved along with what is your story and then the category and then the business case. Uh, specifically, uh, the way I've laid out the, uh, the selling system and the way, way I do that is I want to know where I am with each account at any particular time. So what is the current action uh, that we're doing and then what's the next step? putting together so many deals with retailers and uh, other other uh, customers and distributors I pretty well have narrowed down uh, what it what's required to close the deal and put the sale together and uh, that's why I, I, I kind of really simply outlined it as uh, contact interview present negotiate buy in addition to the wave system the wave sales system that I put together and I have available for you to download there are seven other issues that you need to be aware of when selling big accounts Specifically, you need to think about the timing. When do you approach the account and when is the appropriate time to pitch them on your particular item? And that's going to be determined by your category. So your category is going to be reviewed certain times of year and your item needs to be successful and needs to have a business case within that category and you need to be able to educate and inform the buyer on the reason that your product has a business case and a reason to be a part of the category. In addition to that, your paperwork needs to be um, just really uh, absolutely perfect. The product marketing sheet that you can download from timforest.com will uh, de define for you what a very good product marketing sheet is and it's going to basically answer all the questions that the buyer is going to have from a business standpoint of actually shipping and bringing the product into their system. But uh, once, once you've, all, you've done all that and on top of all that you need to have your uh, story put together and that's what the whole reason that you're even there is to share the business case along with your company story. And that's one of the things that leads me to what I want to talk, uh, my other topic along with the selling system that I wanted to talk to you about today. And that's how important your story is. What is your story? As a company, who are you? What is it that's unique about you? What are your passions? And start thinking about, you don't just dream up stories about your company. You basically think about what is the foundation of your company? Where are you from? What is, what is it about you and the people that work within your organization that make it special and unique? And oftentimes there are things that you don't even realize. You think because you're so aware of them as such a part of you and who, who you are and your background, you don't think about that as necessarily interesting or unique or special, but that is where the branding comes from. That's where the success and the passion and the growth for your business and the branding is going to come from is your own unique story, your own unique information about who you are. You know, the more that you go out and try to copy Kraft Foods or you try to duplicate and, and mimic the largest players in your category and in the food industry, the less successful you're going to be. What is important is that you think about and create your story. When working with Whole Foods, uh, and I've spent a lot of time with the buyers at Whole Foods, that is one of the uh, checklists that they're looking for and that they're going to ask in meetings. What is the story? What's the story behind this item? 
Um, where, you know, tell us about it. We want to know about who these people are. What is their background? Why are they creating this item? They don't want to just think, well, these guys own a food plant and they're, they're um, pumping out uh, you know, thousands and thousands of tons of uh, specific uh, type of food product, a commodity. They want to know, you know what is passionate? What is, what is this company doing? What is, what is it that they're, they're creating? What's the story? What's the energy behind the product? And they want to understand that. They also want you to be able to share that with them in your presentations. They want you to share it with them on the packaging. And you want, want to be able to get that story out from your website, uh, your information. When you do demos in the store, that story needs to come out. And it needs to be very true and very honest and very much about who you are as a company, who you are as an individual, and what drives, drives the success of your company. I hope this information helps. Also, um, be sure to check on my website, timforest.com, for the application for Tim's Roundtable that's going to happen this summer. We're going to have 12 companies, only one per category, and uh, it's going to be a very exciting, exciting time. We're going to share a lot of information together. Also, you're going to have the uh, opportunity to meet other food entrepreneurs that are going through a lot of the same issues that you are to grow your business and make things happen. And there's going to be a lot of opportunities for conversation, synergy, and growth. Thank you very much for watching this week. I look forward to talking to you next week. Have a great week.